Welcome to Bryn Rasmussen's Auctioneers. We're in the process of preparing our next international sale. We can represent a wide range of paintings, jewellery, furniture and modern design. It's also exciting that we have Danish art and design of an international quality. So let's go and meet the experts and hear more about it. Well, Alexa, I'm quite excited to show you some of our highlights from the upcoming auction. Well, wow, this really is amazing. Isn't it? This is Hammershoi, right? This is Hammershoi. We are very proud to present a theme. We have uh, eight artworks uh, from the artist's hands, which is quite an impressive number. I would say so. Is there one that stands out? There is one. I'll show it. Please, thank you. Well, Alexa, we are standing in front of uh, the absolute highlights of uh, this auction. This painting, uh, the Hammershoi painting, was painted in 1904 at the address Strandgade 30 at Christianshavn uh, and in my opinion a fantastic piece. Uh, what makes it a bit unusual is the furniture in the foreground. It m might seem a bit heavy but it's, has, it still has this typical Hammershoi likeness due to the background with the architectural lines and also this uh, reading woman. I can definitely see what you're saying. It's, it's very nice. There's a calmness about it. You really feel at ease when you look at the painting. But Hammershoi wasn't just known for his interiors. You're absolutely right, Alexa. He also painted uh, landscapes and uh, portraits. And he actually liked painting landscapes and portrait, uh, portraits better than interiors. But he had this problem that uh, almost all his art buyers, they wanted interiors. So he had to paint interiors. That is really interesting. There were also some of his contemporaries that painted interiors. That's correct. He uh, met uh, Karl Holsø and uh, Peter Ilsted at the Academy in the late uh, 1870s. Two interior painters uh, with whom he became uh, very good friends and they inspired each other. And uh, this auction, uh, of course, also consists of some of their artworks. That is so interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your passion. You're welcome. What a selection you have here. Thank you. Yes, it is. These are all pieces made by the Danish cabinet maker Pilamos. He is known as one of the most uncompromising and original cabinet makers within Danish design. The inlay here is quite extraordinary. Yes, uh, this is what Pilamos does best. You have the beautiful dark rosewood and then the lighter box tree uh, seat and inlays. And the contrast between the light and the dark wood really brings out what he does best, the inlays and the joinery. So this is actually a perfect example of Moose when he's at his best. This piece was made in 1948 and the same year in the fall it was exhibited at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The exhibition was curated by none other than our own Carl Klint and it exhibited Danish art treasures through the ages. 1948, that's just after the Second World War? Yes, it was. It was quite risky uh, endeavor to ship all these things across the North Sea, which was bound to be mined after World War II. Uh, but luckily, everything made it there and back in one piece. That is quite a story. I really wish you the best of luck for the auction. Thank you. Thank you.
else, how exciting. More Kyogibu. Considering that we just broke the world record not long ago. That's right, it was in the last sale. And in this sale we have seven other works by Kyogibu. The one we are looking at here, this one is from 1999. And you see the clear reference to the Danish landscape, which has been following Kyogibu during his uh, entire career. So it's, it's a very typical Danish lesser landscape. And how come he's so interested in the landscape? Well, he didn't start off as a painter. As a matter of fact, he graduated in 1964 from the University in Copenhagen as a geologist. And he was very fond of Greenland, so the first works he did was actually in Greenland. And later on, you can see his inspiration from the geologist work in his uh, artistic work. So. Being Danish, it still has a lot of international appeal? Yes, of course. He was uh, in two decades a uh, professor, uh, first in Karlsruhe at the Art Academy and later on in Frankfurt. And he is represented in the Muslim museums all over the world, in, from New York to London to Germany, uh, Paris, Tokyo even. He's very well known all over the world. So tell me about the other one. This is another painting by Kierkebu and it's uh, from 1997. So what's extraordinary about this one? It has a title. Normally, Kibi does not give his paintings titles. Normally it's untitled, PK, and then the figure. But this one has a beautiful title. It's a part of a series of about 10 paintings. And uh, we can turn it around and you can see what we have on the other side. So Alexa, I'm going to show you what I've talked about. So you see, for a beautiful signature, 1997, and here you have the title, and uh, I think it's a bit special um, having a title on. And this Anastasia, I think it's uh, the melancholy queen of of autumn. So hence the the German title Herbst, Herbst Anastasia, and is also from the period where he was a professor in Germany. I hope you too found this inspiring. I personally find it so interesting when the experts go into such detail. And the Hammershoi paintings, they really blew me away. Please do come and visit us here at the preview and at the auction at Bryn Rasmussen in Copenhagen. Mm -hmm.